Oh, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Scorched Earth on Ark Survival Ascended. And obviously, you can see I am on top of one of them right now. This video is going to show you how to easily tame an Oasis or it's actually incredibly easy. And there's just basically two things you need to know how to do. I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. But before we do, we're going to go ahead and make sure this one goes away because you can only have one tamed at a time. So keep that in mind. You can only have one Oasis or at any given moment. And uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. So what's going to happen is essentially any tamed dino that you have, you can go up to your tamed creature. And then once you have that tamed creature, you can go ahead and harvest its body after it's died. And once you harvest its body, it's going to drop something for you. This is your essence. And once you harvest that body, uh, I don't think did he just get harvested. That'd be a perfect example if he did. I don't see the bag, but if there was a bag down there, I don't see it right now. Um, but yeah, so they, they drop a bag and when they drop that bag, you can pick up the essence. The essence has the stats and the exact everything of that creature. Now, once you have the essence of your creature, all you need to do is locate an oasis or I have two on the map right now. And usually there are only the two that can spawn one over in this corner. Usually there's another spawn to the north and then you can see the other spawn to the south. Now, obviously here he is right here. And all you need to do is pretty simple. You walk up to him land on the oasis or and it's got an inventory once you see the inventory for the oasis or you need a couple of things you're going to need a good shotgun or a good weapon of some sort and that's pretty much it so what you're going to do is you're going to drop the essence of the creature that that your tamed creature the essence that it dropped you're going to place it inside of the inventory it's going to release a uh, reincarnating creature to tame the oasis or and you just needed to defend this thing as long as it goes right now i have this on 50x so it's going to be much much quicker so it's going to spawn in things that try and kill the baby now all i need to do kill the things that try and kill the baby usually it's vultures um i had a death worm spawn earlier how did that not hit please don't thank you so having a good shotgun will save your life in this one i and uh yeah it's you definitely want to come with some ammo good shotgun a tame is just fine if you want to use a tame um, but you just have to sit here and basically shoot things out of the sky now it will take longer depending on your taming settings but you can see the bar right here right the bar is increasing that's a good thing and that's kind of what we're waiting for now the more stuff you kill the more that bar is going to operate um, i'm pretty sure a death worm pretty much happens every single time where did it go there we go excuse you how did you survive that there we go and as soon as you kill the things and it actually gets big enough, you will get your baby creature, whatever the one that you kind of lost was. You can see mine is a baby saber tooth. It's right here. There we go. It came back with all of its stats and uh, you will also receive the Oasis or it's that easy. There's nothing super difficult about it. And that's all you have to do. And then you can kind of fly away. They all spawn in at level one. So keep that in mind. That's that's pretty much all you need to do. You can only have one at a time now and uh yeah there's nothing super special about their skill moves and stuff like that that's just what they do so i'm gonna go ahead and show you one last time in case this was something that you weren't quite you know tracking and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and harvest this guy you can be harvested for quite a bit of stuff i don't know if you can actually harvest a oasis or and spawn him using an oasis or but we're about to find out man this is gonna be sitting here hitting for a while but so the one thing you want to know is oasis ores you can only have one per tribe so that's to make it not so like you don't have 40 oasis ores flying all over the place right otherwise that'd be really kind of broken um so i'm gonna go ahead and harvest this little guy here and you can see that there's my baby saber tooth uh, essence and all i need to do is go back to my oasis ore down here and uh, you can do this it's really easy honestly um obviously on a increased um rate it's going to be quicker but you just have to defend it as long as the thing is reincarnating should be right around here right big feller there's the big feller all right so we're gonna go ahead and tame a second one just so you can see how easy it is you go up to the water pool you hit f and you go ahead and drop your essence in there and you just simply defend it now it's going to go ahead and tame you can see the taming effectiveness is zero percent right now we're going to go ahead and see if we can locate sometimes they're in the sky and sometimes it's easier sometimes it's random by the way like the death worm that i had to face off against was completely random and it sucked Okay, there we go. Vulture. Um, vulture. Did I get it? I, think I got it before it spawned in. Um, but yeah, so going to first person mode on this one makes it a lot easier. 
Having a shotgun is certainly a useful thing because, or I guess if you have a sniper too, that's just fine. Okay, I don't know how that guy didn't die, but okay, my gun didn't go off. There we go. And boom, that's that. It's literally that easy. That's all you need to do to tame one of these big fellers. And uh, yeah, definitely a useful thing. So hopefully this video helps you out. And again, if you don't mind, smash that like button. Leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.